the whore, the whore, with their hostess, with the most Jedebel. As always, welcome back, welcome back. So we are going to go ahead and go through real quickly. Uh, I say quickly, but it's not going to be that quickly, probably not. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and go through what I've been watching for the last like six, seven days for my Halloween 2018 bin binge watch extravaganza. So let's crack into it. We are starting at number 71 with... The Barn. Yes, I went ahead and watched The Barn again this year. Uh, love that movie. I really do. I enjoy that one. 72 is the, as I like to call it, the chick horror movie, but I know a lot of guys like this movie, and that is The Craft. That is uh, usually always in my binge watch. It's one of my staples that I have to watch every year because, I mean, I love that movie. It's a great, great movie. Nice girl power movie. But anyway, next one up at number 73. Another little Feruza Bulk witch movie. Um, this is not a horror movie, um, but it is set on Halloween and around Halloween, and that is The Worst Witch from 1986, also starring Charlotte Ray and, of course, my man, Mr. Tim Curry. I love that one. Has not really stood the test of time, but it's, it's from my childhood. I was obsessed with that movie. I'm just saying. Number 74, I went ahead and watched Halloween 3. Yes, I know the always hotly debated Halloween movie, so whatever, whether you love it or hate it, what ups, man, what ups? Number 75, I went ahead and watched the classic The Gates. Love that movie, I do. 76, I went ahead and watched the OG Evil Dead. I may or may not watch the Evil Dead 2 and Armageddon of Darkness. Looks like probably a pretty good chance that I'm going to get those in my bin, but we'll see. We will see. Next one up at number 77, Sleepaway Camp 2, Unhappy Campers. It's number 78. We have another sequel, and that was The Exorcist 3. Yes, I know. I know. Another one of those movies that I feel like some people hate, some people really love, like myself. I respect it if you don't like it. Hey, man, different strokes for different folks. Just saying, just saying. Number 79, I went ahead and put in for Paces. Welcome to the binge pieces. Yes, and thank you, Horror Pack, for that one. Number 80, another uh, movie I have to thank Horror Pack for because uh, they did send this out uh, quite a while ago. One movie that I've always kind of really enjoyed. So, uh, but yeah, that is The Woods. Love that movie. Really just, oh, I don't know why. Because it's not the greatest movie, but it's a fun little movie. Number 81, we have our homage to 80s slasher movies. Thank you, Mr. Adam Green, for Hatchets. Number 82, Tales of the Halloween. Y'all knew that this was probably going to be on my list somewhere at some point. Trying to sort of spread out my Halloween in the title or Halloween specific sort of movies. Anyway, but uh, number 83, Return of the Living Dead. I love that movie. Probably my favorite zombie movie of all time. And duh, hello, it has Tarman. I'm on, man. I love Tarman. My friends. Guys knew I had to do it. Mm-hmm. Number 84 had to go with the OG, The Omen. Yes, uh-huh. I know sequels I probably am not going to get to for the binge, but you never know. Depends on what I'm feeling. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, uh, what do we just do? We just hit The Omen. So 85 went ahead and watched In the Mouth of Madness. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Um, And by the way, uh, welcome to the binge in, in the Mouth of Madness. Very welcome. Very welcome. So... Whatever. Number 86. Of course, I watch Psycho. Do I even have to tell you guys I watch the OG? Because you guys know I'm not touching that piece of crap remake. Mm hmm Just saying. Number 87. A movie that when I watched a few months back as part of my little um, deep find from Amazon, I knew right then and there this movie was going to be in my binge. And that is Brain Dead. Yes, Brain Dead with Bill Pullman and Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton, may you rest in peace. Oh, I love that movie. If you guys have not seen that movie, watch it. I believe it is still on Amazon Prime. 
If not, I know you can also buy it from Scream Factory. I highly recommend that. I'm just saying because the picture quality on Amazon, like, it's really poor with the Scream Factory release. Oh, totally worth the money, in my opinion. I'm just saying. Just saying. Um, so number 80. Um, I don't know what that was. Sorry, you guys. Number 88. Went ahead and watched Ginger Snaps. Another little chick flick movie, but directed and written by a man. But he got it right. Oh, that metaphor for becoming a woman and starting menstruation, going hand in hand with a werewolf. Yeah, I swear to God. I get my period, I turn into a fucking werewolf. Full moon or not. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You guys don't care, though. Number 89, I went ahead and watched Fright Night, the OG Fright Night. Yes! Love that movie. Another, like, vampire movie. One of the few ones that I actually truly enjoy. Uh-huh. Number 90, uh, this one I have to thank Horror Pack for, uh, because ever since I received it in, I think, like, my first or second Blu-ray pack, this has become a staple of mine for my Halloween binge. And that is the first Volumes of Blood. Love that movie. Number 91. Another movie that uh, I kind of was a deep find for me on, I believe it was Amazon, um, called Clown Town. Um, not a bad movie. Not a terrible, terrible movie. Like, it's not a good movie by any means. But I enjoyed that one. I might be doing a review at some point on this one. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Number 92 is Volumes of Blood 2. Yeah, I went ahead and decided to watch the sequel too because I do also really enjoy the second Volumes of Blood very much. Uh, once again, thank you Horror Pack for sending that one out. I know I was saying for like months and months before you guys sent that out. I was like, please send it out. Please send it out. I know you guys probably, I probably didn't really influence you guys that much in getting it, but just thank you when I got that. So happy. Number 93, Tales from the Dark Side. Number 94, Children of the Corn. Number 95, a movie that has quickly been a Halloween staple for me. Watched it for the first time two or three Halloweens ago, and that is WNUF Halloween Special. That one I may have to revisit for a review. I might, I might, I'm kind of feeling you guys. Just give you guys a heads up. Number 96, had to go ahead and watch Halloween 4 because I really love Halloween 4. Like, I prefer Halloween 4 over Halloween 2. Yeah, I'll say it. I know that's kind of sacrilege, but you know what? Here's why I like it. And I know other people have said this about this one. Number one, that has my favorite opening credit scene ever. It's just very... Ooh, like, it, you, like, you can kind of feel, like, the chill air coming off your TV screen and just that, like, you know, that sort of very quiet, like, wind sound. And the whole movie totally just gives me that, like, autumn and Halloween feel. I'm just saying, like, I know a lot of people have said that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Next up, we have another horror pack movie and this one um I actually specifically was saving for my binge because I wasn't sure how many movies I would be uh watching like first viewings and everything because you got like I told you guys I like to watch um at least make it a point to watch at least a few first time viewings uh for of movies for me uh we got this one in the blu-ray pack a couple months ago a few months ago and that is Howl Pretty darn, darn good movie. Uh, for a werewolf movie, I really kind of liked it. Terror Train meets American Werewolf in London without the American. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. A terrific movie, though. That's probably at some point going to get a review and everything, too, as well. Number 98. One that is another first time viewing for me. Uh, I kind of just stumbled upon this. Actually, I, I stumbled upon the sequel. Um, but I wanted to watch the first one. It's an anthology movie called Territory. Territory. Um, and, you know, I was, I was pretty excited about it. And I watched it and it was kind of, like, I'll be honest, I was a little, eh. I mean, some of the stories were okay. You know, it does have some stories in there that I think people really like. Other stories that people aren't going to like. You Your usual anthology. But it was just, for me, I was a little... 
Uh, um, I may or may not watch the second one. I I was definitely gung ho on watching the second one, but I'm not sure now. Just give you guys a heads up. And then at number one hundred, the one of the two anthologies that I saw at a very young age and is the responsibility or I should say the reason why I adore anthologies and that is Creep Show 2. Number 101, another anthology. God, I was on like such an anthology kick. What the freak, dude? You guys know I love my anthology, so I'm not apologizing on that. And I watched at 101, Chiller Rama at 102. Um, literally, I'm just starting it right now. I just popped it in, and that is the OG Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So that is what I've been binging. Uh, I obviously, guys, you know, I've been very, very busy with this. Um, but yeah, there is my binge for you. I will be getting some more reviews and stuff for you guys for this week and next week and stuff. Till next time, as always, you guys, stay creepy, classy, and a little bit sassy.